<laughs> oh, Rob Schneider. Yeah. Rob Schneider. Oh, did we get to talk about your favorite new show? Real Rob? Real Rob! Yeah. Did we? On the show? No. Oh. That's... a great show. Y you love it. I... love it. Can't get enough of it. Aaron called me up and was like, Dan, whatever you're doing, fuck that shit. <laughs> Real Rob is on. It's Rob Schneider's new show. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I love it more than any children I will ever have. I did say that, and, yeah. And, and thank you for that, because it is the best. 100% the best, always. Real gold. I really- okay. <laughs> I, I genuinely want to know, because I, I'm, I'm watching it, mm -hmm. and I'm baffled. Because, like, it, it, it's- You it, hate it. You hate it. More than anything. I don't okay. hate it more than anything. It's okay to hate things. I just- I, It's- you honestly hate it. It baffles me because I don't know who it's for. Okay. Because it's- it's- it's from the perspective of Rob Schneider. Right. As a rich asshole. Okay. And it's- and it's like, yeah, okay, I get it. He's playing a character. Ha ha. <laughs> he can't- <laughs> he, for, for him to write that character means that he's self-aware of how much of an asshole that character is. Right. Fine. I get it. He's probably a really nice guy in person. Probably. Whoa, there's your winner. Yeah. Who is the show for? Yeah, it's a good question. Is it a ba- is it- is it for rich assholes to relate to? Or is it for the common man to relate to, who he constantly shits all over? Right. Like, I don't- I don't get it! Yeah, it's a- um... It's like a Louie, but without, like, the- Without Louie, which is what makes that show good. Like, he has a whole bit... Where, like, he- he doesn't, like, he, he doesn't tip well, yeah. and then somebody judges him for not tipping well, and then he's like, I'm gonna go into my million dollar house, and it's like, <laughs> I, I don't relate to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is, like, I don't relate to that guy or that guy, Yeah. and the circumstances aren't funny. It's just frustrating to see people <laughs> act like this. Yeah. I watched you watch two episodes <laughs> on your phone. And just like the look on your face, consternation, I guess would be the, <laughs> the word. It's, it's like, it's like not. It's like a lyric from a hunchback of Notre Dame song. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's the right word for the situation, but like just the look on your face was something like, I'm not enjoying this and I can't stop not enjoying it. I will say though. Yes. His wife is very funny on the yeah, show. Yeah, she's super funny. She's really pretty too. She, she's like. Good for her. Cause she play- she's the only relatable character because she's like constantly just like, Shut up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And it's like, yeah! Shut up! So I guess she should be the main character, right? I- I guess? But she's not in it enough for right, her to that, be the main that's character. that's the thing. That's the thing. And also he's constantly like, Why are you doing this in my house? I don't- ah! You know? My super huge house with a pool! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I will say, though, the first episode has a really funny premise that I don't feel like is explored very well. I think it was the first episode. Maybe it was the second episode. The premise was funny. Okay. It was- the idea was that he had a personal assistant who sucks, <laughs> and then he also has a stalker, and he ends up hiring the stalker as his personal assistant because the stalker knows more about him than the personal S assistant Stalker does. as in- oh, a stalker. Yeah, stalker. A sta- I'm sorry, I'm Jersey. Um, oh, a stalker! So that's a funny premise, right? Yeah, like it's, it's like, ha ha! He's a stalker, and he's really good at being a personal assistant. And oh. then here, here's the bit where he's a stalker, and he's really good at being a personal assistant again. Okay. And then here's the bit where, um, he's like, he doesn't, he he just wants to be a stalker, and he doesn't want to be a personal <laughs> assistant. And then that was that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was the, that was the whole exploration of that funny concept. Yeah, I don't know. So not a fan, not a fan. Writing but a TV I, show is hard. But I gotta see. I bet. I gotta see the rest of it. I have to. Really? I you have to know if it like gets good or like it explores better concepts. I don't know. It's fascinating to me. It's fascinating because it has no demographic. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Because it's Ooh. just it's just this this is starting to get awkward. It's just this show. With uh, content uh, in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People in situations. Yeah, and I guess they're jokes. And it's real. It's real Rob. Whew. And then there's this bit in the first episode where he's pitching the show. He's pitching real Rob. Oh. To, like, in the show. So meta. Yeah, and then he's like, 
I want it to be like real. Like it's really my life. And he like really drills that in. And it's like, so you're admitting to that you suck <laughs> because he he it's a, he sucks. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying, like, I don't know anything about Rob Schneider. This is... He could be the fucking sweetest guy yeah. on the planet, and I'm sure he's he's a great, smart dude. He's friends with all these really cool people, consistently. Yeah. This is, this is what I wanted, this is the emotion I wanted you to get to. Cause this is, this is where you were in the hotel room when you were watching it. You were like, but, D D it sucks! It, it sucks! It's baffling to me! <laughs> How... It like why is he saying like this is me? This is my life, and he's a terrible person, and it. it, it but it, he has to know. Boy, I don't. Ah, it, yeah. it tears me apart inside. <laughs> you are salty. I really just this. want to have a conversation and be like, you know, you're writing yourself as the biggest douchebag. Yeah, and and like. Constantly reminding people like this is how I am in real life. Why would you do that? I, I don't know Aaron. I don't know man. You're scaring me. Oh, I don't I don't get it man <laughs> Cuz it's not like humility. It's just like I'm a dick <laughs> to people in general. I'm entitled and I hate everyone man I really hope he blocks me on Twitter. Yeah <laughs> Real Rob He named it real Rob <laughs> You're still mad. Like as as if to further drill in the point that like this is me. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. It's all right, buddy. Even as someone who has a career in entertainment, I can't relate. It's not a it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal.